Hey everybody, Michael with Vintage Trailer Works here. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a walkthrough of our new RT3 model, which is kind of a rooftop tent gear trailer. Starting off with the frame, you get the same heavy duty frame that we put on all of our off-road models. It's a 3x2 steel tubing, 11 gauge. Uh, the fenders that are load bearing, they're welded straight into the frame. You get the same Torflex off-road axles that are independent suspension down here with optional electric brakes. A nice front rack. A nice tongue box for storage and your battery system goes in there. Cutoff switch as well as the solar controller. A dual wheel tongue jack, 2 inch ball coupler, and a 7 pin connection. Uh, the general construction of it is the outside aluminum with a diamond tread plate on the top and front. The inside is all the floor and walls are composite. They're not wood, they look like wood, but it is a composite. And that way any kind of water leaks or water that would get in there you don't have to worry about anything happen into that. So you do have a cooler slide tray on this side that slides in and out, locks both ways. And we go ahead and put a 12 volt plug on the inside there in case it is an electric cooler. Uh, nice 30 inch tires, just like all the other off-road models. On the back of the fender, you got your propane tank here, which is used for a stove in the back. You do have another 12 volt plug on the outside here because a lot of these awnings all of our awnings do come standard with a LED light strip. So this is the six and a half foot awning from OVS. You got your rear stabilizer jacks on both sides in the rear. Moving to the kitchen, it does slide out from the back. So you get a nice deep sink and then a two burner stove as well. And then a nice deep storage cubby there that slides in and out. So this whole thing will slide in and shut, close and lock up. So right here you do have a switch panel that controls all of your LED lights. We have some interior LED lights as well as a few on every corner. And then we put some rock lights on this unit as well. And it does also have two USB plugs, a cigarette lighter plug, and then it is a voltmeter as well. So it'll read your battery level. Moving over this side, you got your other stabilizer foot there, a water fill port. And on this one, you do get 20 gallons of water storage. So moving inside, this one does just have a little bit of storage room because we did put a lot of these options on it that take up that space. So a lot of your plumbing and electricals over here. So I'm going to get the rooftop tent opened up and get right back to you. So here's the rooftop tent all opened up. This is the Overland Vehicle System Mamba 3 rooftop tent. Uh, it's about five feet tall at its highest point, four and a half feet wide and about seven feet long. So it's a pretty good bit of room in there. Uh, it does have its own ladder that comes with it. So when you climb up in there, you got a door on this side that can close up, a door on that side that can close up, and then, or they can just be nets. You have one on the back as well. So plenty of airflow that can get through here. You have plenty of storage pockets on both sides. And on the top, and it's actually not too bad, it's pretty roomy. So, and it does also have roof rack bars that can go across the top, so you don't lose out on a roof rack completely. So, this is our RT3, it's the first one that we've built here. Um, this one's about halfway optioned up, you can go as basic as you need to, or we can even pack more options than you see here. So, you can put on a quote on our website at vintage trailerworksync.com, we'd be happy to build one for you. And I thank you all for watching.